All right, guys. I just saw Rogue One, and I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, I think I'm a believer again. In correctional facilities Cause some don't agree with how I do this I get straight and meditate like a Buddhist Yeah, hey, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, thank you very much Yeah, I just have to have a new sunny opening title I believe in Star Wars again You know, after seeing The Force Awakens And um, being kind of disappointed And then seeing The Last Jedi And being utterly devastated I'd given up Star Wars for dead and everybody said, go see Rogue One. I said, if it's another Disney Star Wars movie, I don't even need to bother. I don't even need to bother seeing it. No interest in it. It's just going to be more awfulness. Well, finally somebody talked me into seeing Rogue One, and since it was free on Netflix, I thought I might as well sit down and make a night of it. Uh, I loved it. Let me make something clear. Disney is capable. They're capable of doing a good Star Wars movie now. To be fair, uh, maybe one of the reasons why I liked it so much was the fact that it tied so closely in uh, with the original trilogy. Now, if you haven't seen the movie yet, um, as the story goes, uh, it is about the man who helped design the Death Star um, for the uh, uh, for the Empire, and uh, he left a flaw in the Death Star uh, that he wanted to pass on to the Rebellion because this thing is a planet killer. And I, by the way, I love the way they showed it destroying planets. It was so much more realistic than, you know, in A New Hope. Uh, so his daughter survives uh, to pass on this message to the Empire. Basically, it's all about getting um, the information about the plans uh, and how to destroy the Death Star into the hands of the Rebellion, namely Princess Leia. I can't say enough good things about this movie. Uh, the Darth Vader scene was amazing beyond belief. Everyone told me it was. The Carrie Fisher Princess Leia, like the early CGI Princess Leia, uh, was a little bit, uh, a little bit quirky. I don't believe she should have smiled when she said, "What you know? What is this? It's hope." And then she kind of smiled. I don't think she should have done that. I think it was a far more kind of sobering uh, and serious moment, especially considering her demeanor uh, in at the beginning of Star Wars: A New Hope, where there's just so much desperation. Uh, there's nothing kind of wonderful about this. It's just this is our last bit of hope. Um, it's not something to smile about. And her smile looked weird. The CGI smile looked weird. Uh, but pretty good. Um, uh, Grandma Tarkin looked amazing. He just looked great all through. I mean, I really... Uh, if nobody had told me that it, he was CGI, he might have passed. Because I was aware he was a CGI character, I was looking at him closely. Uh, but he might have passed in some scenes for a real human actor. Uh, so so good and you know I went to Walgreens to get water for the house and even at Walgreens they had these Star Wars toys that have been sitting on shelves look at this layer of dust on the top of this here see that dust this Star Wars toy has been sitting in Walgreens probably since like 2013 or so and uh, I went and rescued it um, because the movie was good I won't hear anything otherwise. I, it was really, really good. Um, and plus, I needed Darth Vader, you know. Darth Vader is a good character. I don't, you know, doesn't matter. What is this? So we're going to open these up now. I got three figures from Walgreens. I I'm glowing about Star Wars again. My wife was like, you sound like you're like a born-again Star Wars fanboy. I was like, uh, yeah, kind of. Like, I don't know. I don't. I can't explain it. Seeing that movie really did make me believe again, and it makes you want to go right into uh, A New Hope and watch that movie all over again. Why doesn't his hand hold his lightsaber? Uh, yeah, it does hold it, but just barely. Look, he's got a choking hand here. A choking hand? Oh, his wrist doesn't swivel. Yeah, this is great. I feel like drawing Darth Vader. I think I might do a Darth Vader drawing demo. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is and why he would have it. Uh, this doesn't look like anything Darth Vader would ever use or have. Uh, it looks like kind of a dorky accessory that would come in a, um, I don't know, a late series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy. So we don't want that. We do want this, though. This is dynamite. So good. We got Darth Vader. Um, and then Poe Dameron. 
uh, who I'm starting to believe in. Oh, can I do this? He's a force link guy here. Can I do this? Can I accept Disney? Can I accept Disney into my life? I don't know if I can. What do we got here? Is this an ad for the horrible force link? You know, if this is the uh, first video that you've watched of mine, uh, you might not know this, but I went out and I bought Force Link 1.0, which is what this is, and Force Link 2.0 to test them out and see if I can make these action figures and vehicles talk. This doesn't work. None of this works. Doesn't work. And why do you need your figures to talk anyway? I don't think you need them to talk. Uh, you know, one thing that you cannot complain about is the detail. I mean, this, look at this. And yeah, I mean, you can't complain about it. It's really, they're doing a great job on these, uh, making toys of these terrible characters. And Poe Dameron is not really, let's see how this helmet fits on his head. Oh, that looks good. Wait, that actually looks pretty good. Let's get that straightened out. His helmet fits properly. That actually fits in proportion to uh, the head. And he's got a little tiny gun in here. Uh, yeah. Feel, okay, you know, Poe Dameron, I gotta say, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling optimistic about uh, about you. I'm feeling optimistic about Star Wars Episode Nine. Uh, now that we've learned that Mara Jade uh, might very well be in it. Uh, I'm feeling okay. Uh, Rogue One, look, Rogue One was an excellent movie. Probably better than Return of the Jedi. Oof. Hold on, let me let me pray about that for a moment. God, um, was Rogue One better than Return of the Jedi? Was it a sin that I just said that? Thank you, Lord. No, God says it was good. Um, God said it was probably better than Return of the Jedi in a lot of ways. Uh, it didn't have the uh, uh, charisma of some of these, you know, like Harrison Ford, obviously, and some of the characters that we love. Um, but it was a very, very good. Uh, and scary, and, uh, you know, it, it it was Star Wars flavored, okay? So maybe, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're okay. So it, oh, it's you. Yeah, it's Lilo Ren. Uh, you know, those of you who missed my last video about this, uh, uh, what was it, Sunday.com UK, whatever. Uh, wrote an article calling him Lilo Wren. Pissed me off. Yeah. You're the guy who made love to Lena Dunham's rear end. You weirdo. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Look at it. It's not even, he's not even wearing his mask here. And there's nothing to put over his face but my thumb. I have to, I have to, I have to cover his face all the time. This lightsaber is really, really freaking stupid. Look, it didn't need to do this. What, what is the point of this, exactly? What is the point of this? Why? Why? No. No, I don't like this. I'm sorry, uh, your royal highness, but uh, I can't. You were in a really good movie for Disney, and I appreciate your work. Uh, but no, as long as they've got uh, Lilo Ren, and uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. Episode nine's gonna suck. It is, it is gonna suck. But still, I thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Uh, we're gonna see Solo, uh, a Star Wars story together. We're gonna talk about it here. Thank you, everyone. Uh, for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Uh, these are the backers for April. If you'd like to join them, uh, the link to my Patreon is in the description. You can, you know, pledge a dollar or more, and you'll really help the channel. Thank you so much, everyone.